Hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and today I am going to be challenging myself. I had brought this up not too long ago, and I think this is a good time to try putting it into action. Let's do a run where I try, where I go ultra hard. And all that sounds, get your get your brain out of the gutter. What I mean by that is I am going to be performing a run where we where we guess, where we not only have the I'm sorry, my brain my brain just died. What are we talking about again? Oh yeah, we're going to do a run where not only do I have go, actually Or not only do I have the retro floor plan active, but we're also going to do it with <laughs> do it on hard difficulty. So everything is gonna be nuts. So let's go ahead and let's see how does this work? No, pretty much the same way as anything else. All right, so we're gonna be starting with Aqua Beam, Twin Turbines, Air Spinner, and Chaotic Rift. I don't normally use Chaotic Rift, but I figure if I'm if I'm going hard, I may as well may as well give myself the best chances out there. And then whether or not I succeed at this will help determine whether or not I ever decide to try for you know phase three sewer at the same time. Now, this isn't, like, the only build that I think could possibly do it. Far from it. <laughs> this is just a preference. And since we're starting with everything everything tuned up, it doesn't really matter where I start. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. We ready for hard mode? We ready, we're ready for friggin' super hard mode? Let's do it. All right, and we will be forced to handle... We will be forced to handle Atlas, because of course... So far, so good. And I know that's only three rooms out of, like, a lot. But I'd say right now we're off to a good start. Well, that was... that was a complete shit show. So as you can see, with this setup, when things go wrong, they go really wrong. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to spend the money on that. Oh, I'm still making the same mistake of not using the portal, though. Well, that was horrible. <clears throat> like, at this point, I'm tempted to say I should just start over, but... I am going to do my best to keep up, even if this ends up being a mistake in the long run. And yes, Exploding Fireball, I think, is the right choice. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Alright, well, since things did not go the way I expected, we're just gonna try again. Now, the reason why this is so hard is because obviously the enemies have. The enemies have much better reactions to you than they normally do at this stage. So they have all of their spells, all of their all of their increased movement and whatnot, and you're still starting off with a classic beginning. That's why this is so difficult. So it should come as no surprise then no surprise then that doing it doing that on top of retro floor plan is is exactly as difficult as I thought it would be. To me, the best way to handle this is to use a run, or to use a build that allows me the... That allows me to control things from as much of a distance as possible. Of course, my controller acting up is not making this any easier. Okay, hold on. Give me the air spinner. And... I'm gonna wait to upgrade Twin Turbines. I may grab Dragon Dive, too. Yes, this is definitely stressful. That will help, though, assuming we make it off of the first floor. If we don't, I don't know what to tell you. And I'm thinking about Dragon Circuit, but I do think Dragon Dive is the right answer. We will save ourselves a little bit of money. All right, here's the boss room. So we at least have we at least got that far this time. Purchase Reddick so that I don't die immediately. Here we go. And there is nothing here that's useful. Like, honestly, there really is nothing here that's useful. That's. Ugh. Well, that counts as a projectile. That's nice, but those two don't. So, I mean. Eh, no. 
I'm better off just buying just buying another aggressive option. Okay, one stage cleared. It's not much, but it's something. Like, you'll notice I didn't even bother doing the soundtrack, the soundtrack selection today. I just wanted to get right into it. And no, there is absolutely no guarantee that I'm going to clear it, but I am going to do my best. Definitely see Kasim's airy cloak being useful. And to, to make sure you understand why the renewing potion vial is useful, in case you don't know, you will regain health when teleporting to the next area. Specifically, you regain 10% of whatever your maximum health value is. Now, I will regain 53 because the, because the game's math will round up that 5 at the end. Okay, so we can update, upgrade Dragon Circuit, that's good. I don't know who our red vendor is though, so I should hold off on that in case it's Nocturne. Come on, use your portals wisely. You're being a maroon! Trying to, trying to do my best to keep the enemies as as much as much at bay as possible. Sometimes easier said than done. Obviously, not every fight goes the way you want it to. Putting myself at risk for this one. You're welcome. Give me that. fiery paintbrush. Okay, we're getting stronger, but that doesn't necessarily equate that doesn't necessarily equate to a victory, especially since I did take glass cannon. Like that might end up being a problem for me, so 
Here we go. Zeal is going to be moving nice and quick. Alright, first floor down. I don't know how I feel about breaking Twister, I don't think I'm gonna take it. Now the other part of the reason why I took Twin Turbine is because it charges up your signature gauge very quickly. And with my spells now doing more damage than before... ...should be in. Should be able to make things go a little bit smoother. Anything good over here? Yes, we got that. And I'll, I might take the reactive vine mail. I'm not sure yet. One thing I would really like to see is the royal jelly. Oh, what in the world? I would love to know why my controller thought I wanted to fire that diagonally. Now, if you're intent on trying to do the and on trying to do the super hard challenge, don't feel bad if you have to do something along the lines of, you know, starting with the, starting with the awe robe and and the vampire's eyeglasses. For something like this, you do what you got to do. I'm just trying. I'm trying to do it without cheesing it, but honestly, the cheese is in the game, so it's so you might as well. And we do have Nocturne to trade an Arcano away with. So let's see if he gives us something particularly good. Hmm, unfortunately not for the enemies that we're fighting. I am going to take that though. And then we'll take the upgraded Dragon Dive and just proceed to keep using that. You know, I think that looks mighty solid. Now... the boss. Fairy. You know you you know the rule, you never turn down Sylvan Help.
Also, can we take a moment to appreciate the huge juxtaposition of super hardcore gameplay on a backdrop of smooth jazz music? With my setup, I should have taken the Infinity Marble. It would have given me... It would have given me more opportunities to cheese with, with Signature Charge. have a use for that, and will Taffy give us anything more useful than what we already have? Nope. But it's worth a shot, even just because he does drop a bunch of gold when you break him. Also, don't, don't feel bad for Taffy. That's what he was designed to do. That's why he's a piñata and not just a talking horse or a talking mule or whatever the hell donkey is. He's a donkey, you dumbass. Oh, yeah. But if he's just a donkey, why can he talk? Oh, yeah, smoking gun argument. He's not just a donkey. It's... Definitely take that. And I will grab that in hopes that I get to use the Magician's outfit, but right now it's looking a little iffy. And do I care to find Iris? Honestly, most of the enemies are gone at this point, so shouldn't have shouldn't have too many troubles finding her. Matter of fact, she's right there. What was I even worried about? I don't want anything here, but there you go. and we are on to the Twins. And no, not the baseball team. I don't know how many of you are actually going to get or care about that joke, but fuck it, it's out there. You do with it what you want.
Also, yes, they are moving incredibly fast. And there we go. See, that's the other thing that makes uh, that makes this really hard is the idea that even though the even though the enemies have a have a cap you know, speed and aggr and aggressiveness stat bosses don't. Or rather, they have a cap, but it's it's higher than what the enemies are, so even though they cap at level 3, the bosses, they're just going to keep going up. I don't know how high the difficulty slider goes specifically for the bot one, but I think do I want to understand what the heck that was? Obviously, you can see the key to this is keeping on top of the enemy movements and making sure that you're keeping yourself topped up. I'm a dummy. Oh, hey, look at that. We get the magician's outfit. We are magical! I guess it wasn't a horrible oops, but it was an oops nonetheless. Okay. There's nothing else here that's really catching my fancy, so we move on. The only thing we have to worry about now is finding Iris, and that's not really a requirement so much so as it's just a let's make sure we have our build optimized sort of thing. Because if she sell if she sells me another decent electric arcana that I can use in the fight against Freya, I will take it. Definitely use it. There are so many things here that I like. We'll use that over... We'll use that over Flame Cleaver. Flame Cleaver's already done us good, so... It's not a personal thing, I just... Or rather, it is. It's just not personal in the way of I hate this on God or anything. Alright, so if you squint and ignore that failed first attempt, we're doing great. I guess even if you do squint and ignore that failed first attempt, the run still isn't bad. It's just that all it takes is a few things to go wrong and you are... and your run is over. Water Prison, Shock Nova. Shock Nova has a little bit of a charge time that could make it a little tricky to use, especially with Freya moving as fast as she's going to be moving, so 
I will say no to that. We will say yes to upgrading the rope. A few more health points, a better critical hit rate, and more damage. And more and more movement speed, of course. Like there's absolutely no reason not to take that deal. Earthquake Axe, but this is not the time for it. The challenge is the bosses, not necessarily the enemies. We've got our we've got ourselves we've got ourselves specked out to deal with the enemies. We have a strategy and it's working for us, so that is not where any of the difficulty is coming from. At this point. Uh, I think we're good. Besides, we're just about done dealing with the mooks, so that's not even what we need right now. <laughs> Alright, ready for ultra-fast and aggressive Freya? One thing left, and yes, Sura is also going to be very fast, very aggressive. You're gonna be a mean boy. done with the ultra hard challenge all we need to do is make sure that everything that everything just everything runs smoothly now I'll even pick up the captain's ring for more damage Though admittedly this phase probably won't be super fast.
Also, you'll notice his movements are a little different than you would expect, too. Owie. And Ultra Hard is done. Alright, that is not an easy thing to do, as you saw from how things started off. But it's definitely a fun challenge to take on. And I would say that if you guys are interested in seeing me do Ultra Hard some more, with different builds, then by all means submit some builds for me to try Ultra Hard with. I'm always up for taking builds for regular runs, but if you're gonna submit a run for Ultra Hard, make sure it's a strong one. Actually, not even then, because I'm sure the real draw to it is, hey, we've seen you do Ultra Hard with, th with this build that was designed for it. Now do Ultra Hard with this really close-range monk build. And you're just gonna make me cry into my soup. But, that is the challenge that I've opened myself up for, so I have to be ready to accept it. That's all for right now, so hey, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully this, hopefully this did something for you. If, at the very least, I want it to be entertaining, but if you, if you found it, dare I say, inspiring, then go ahead and drop a like, leave a comment, share the video with others, other people who play Wizard of Legend, I'm sure they would love to see what Ultra Hard looks like, and <clears throat> until next time, I will see you guys later. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and hopefully you're doing great today.